Today we are taking a look at this new Mega Mods Xbox Series X modded custom controller and answering the question, do you really need a custom modded controller? Well, first off, it arrives in a normal Xbox controller box, as this is an official controller, which is modded and customised to your liking by Mega Mods. It would have been cool to see some Mega Mods packaging, but if it keeps the cost down, I'm all for it. It also comes with some standard manuals, a manual for the mods, and a USB-C cable to charge it, and I also selected some thumb grips to help with accuracy in FPS games. Oh, and there's a two-week Xbox Game Pass Ultimate code in the box also, so if you want a chance to win this, leave me a comment telling me what colour of controller you would build and I'll select a winner. First impressions are really positive, the controller feels solid, no rattling, all the buttons feel exactly like a normal Xbox controller and the matte finish I selected has added grip and just feels amazing in your hands versus the standard Xbox controller's plastic front plate which can get a bit slippy. This is 100% my daily driver for my Xbox from now on. I'm actually honestly really shocked at how good this thing is put together. The build quality is absolutely top notch. So this controller has been fully customised to my exact specification using the Mega Mods Custom Controller Builder website, which has a ton of cool features to make your controller truly unique. Here's my build on screen so you can see what I have selected. I wanted a really clean, minimalist, fresh looking build, so I went for the orange shell which has a really nice matte finish as I've already mentioned, and also the matching orange buttons with a white backplate to finish off the look. Let me know what you think about this down below in the comments. So to get started and connect the controller to your console, just fire in some batteries, I recommend a rechargeable one, then use the included cable to connect it to your Xbox and you are good to go. I also selected the special mod chip which is installed inside the controller which can make it do some pretty cool things that no other controllers can do, especially in games like Call of Duty. So check this out, I love playing Call of Duty Zombies and with this mod chip I can press the mod button which is this blue one on the back of the controller and then the right trigger button to activate rapid fire which means my single shot pistol now shoots fully automatic. How cool is that? With the four tiny LEDs on the front indicating which mods you have active and these mods work in Call of Duty multiplayer and Warzone 2 alongside other games. So if you're a big first person shooter player, this controller may be right up your street. There's a ton of other mods included, like auto aim in zombies and drop shot and jump shot that automatically drop your character down or jump when you shoot. But that would be a whole video in itself to go over all the mods, so if you would like to see more, let me know by leaving me a comment. As I went for a really simple clean build, I haven't even selected things like RGB lighting, trigger stops, back buttons and custom grips for example, which you can add to your controller to really take it to the next level. I would have added back buttons as I love them on a controller, but you cannot select them and the mod chip at the same time, so you need to decide which one you want more, and I went for the mod chip this time round as I have never had a modded controller like this before. The custom controller will work with the Xbox Series X and S, but it will also work with the Xbox One, PC, Mac, Android and iOS as all standard Xbox controllers do. The standard Xbox Series X controller weighs in at 274 grams with the batteries in, versus 289 for this modded beast. Also, there's nothing to install and you're good to go as the mod chip is built into the actual controller itself, which is very neat. Now, in terms of warranty, the controller comes with a 90 day warranty as standard, which for me, that's really not long enough. However, you can upgrade for an additional fee 
to a one year warranty, which I recommend you all do as these controllers can cost a fair bit of cash. I've been using it non-stop just over a week and I've had zero problems so far and it feels solid, but only time will tell. If you would like a longer term review to see how it holds out, let me know and I'll keep you all updated on how the Mega Mods controller is doing. Now, speaking of cost, let's discuss just that. Mega Mods kindly sent this out to me free of charge to review and have not asked me to say anything other than mention that you can get RGB on their controllers as I did not select it for my build. So hats off to them for sending this and allowing reviewers to give their honest opinions. I love seeing companies do just this. So this would cost you over $200 for this fully spec'd out model, as the mods can be expensive and add up quickly. So I encourage you to play about with the configurator using my link to see what works for you, as you can select as much or as little as you like to get a custom controller that suits your gaming style and your wallet. So, do you need a custom Xbox controller? Well, I think it's really for two types of people. Firstly, for series first person shooter players, as these mods will give you an edge in multiplayer games, zombies and even campaigns. Next, I think it's for someone who loves the idea of having a custom, premium one of a kind controller to use during their gaming sessions. And I'd say I fall into this category as I am thoroughly enjoying using this controller and it just looks and feels so damn cool. In the future, I hope we get to look at more custom controllers from Mega Mods. So any questions, drop these in the comments and don't forget to hit the like button and check out some of the best accessories for your Xbox in this next video.